So let's get started. Hi, my name is Jacob, otherwise known as J.A. Perry, and um, this is Tatiana. And uh, so today we're going to talk about um, the future of groups on Drupal.org or groups.drupal.org. Cool. And I think the way we'll do it with people that are here is we'll sort of be a little interactive. So if you have questions, feel free to ask them, although we do need to have the mic. I was just seeing if it was taped down. So yeah, if you have questions or comments, feel free to go up to the microphone and we can just sort of go back and forth as we have this discussion. So yeah, so uh, first uh, sort of start with everyone knows sort of the history of groups. Uh, it was created um, to provide groups, user groups on Drupal.org. And so the future of groups, like all the other content on Drupal.org, is sort of tied into the content strategy um, that um, we've been working on for over the past year. And so the, uh, basically we've been looking at user research on who's been accessing what, how many pages we have, um, where does content fit best, and, and how we've been sort of dividing things up into our subsites, and groups is one of them. Um, and so you can see more about this um, at a talk that Tatiana gave uh, yesterday. Um, so yeah, I would invite everyone to go there and uh, watch that to give a little more background about um, the overall content strategy. So this will be about specifically what's happening with user groups on Drupal.org. So um, so what are they used for? You can see here these are the the main um, the main user groups. So. Uh, we're doing announcements. So one of the things that groups were doing was sending out emails to people because there's this notification system. Uh, we have project-based groups because projects on Drupal.org weren't able to do the collaboration that uh, we can do there. Uh, we have initiatives um, that also we didn't really have the ability to do any collaboration on Drupal.org. Um, local user groups and interest groups. So we have our uh, local cities and something like events organization um, all here on uh, GDO. So how does that look as we're looking into the future? As we're putting together the content, uh, the strategy, we see that the announcements are really blogs that we can put on Drupal.org. Um, Project-based groups really um, is a subset of projects, which um, we'll get into in a moment. And then the working group initiatives is going to be part of uh, another initiative content type. And as Drupal.org itself is moving to organic groups um, to structure its content, um, that's why it makes a lot of sense to start moving those things into Drupal.org. Uh, we're going to focus first here on project-based groups. The other two are sort of well-defined, and then we'll talk about uh, local user groups after that. So first, projects. So, ooh, why does that look like crap up there? Uh, that's really odd. Full screen, this button? No. Uh, no. That's so sad. Okay, well, I'm going to like, I'll just push that laser pointer. Uh, okay, so the gobbledygook. Uh, groups. It looks so nice here. Uh, so we have media. Uh, you can sort of tell because you can see Dave Reed's face there. Um, uh, we have media there uh, where uh, we have a group's discussion. We have news pages. We have events. We have that stuff. We have the media uh, landing page in the middle here, which maybe I can use my mouse. Ah, there we go. We have the media landing page here. So this has uh, some of the metadata for uh, the media project itself. And then we have this whole DrupalMedia.org, which has its own events and a, a guide and then links to both of these pages. And so we've seen this in a few other projects, but this is a really good example of, of how groups and the limitations of Drupal.org has um, fragmented how just a simple project could work. So we're hoping to help um, solve that problem. And the way we're planning to do that is by basically integrating uh, the project-based groups into project pages. So all projects will become groups, and uh, we can then assign content to project pages. Um, this also gives us the ability to do events. We can do documentation. Uh, we can be using Panelizer for our layouts. Uh, but for now, I think everyone's going to be the same. Um, and we can also do 
things like maintainers through OG. We can uh, have documentation maintainers. So um, I believe there's a documentation. Is there a documentation talk? I don't remember. Well, we talked a little bit during content strategy. But documentation is the big one that will come into projects. So when you go to a project page, you can go to the documentation to that project page instead of going over to the book section and then trying to find it through the myriad of whatever's there. So that is an example of what we could end up seeing like this. So that still looks like crap. All right. Oh, well. Uh, so here's, here's an idea of here's the media page. Here are links that would go to the different sections, so like the events that uh, they would have, the documentation pages that they would have, um, the developers page. You'd still have the metadata on the front page, and you'd have your download links. Here's an example of the developers tab, which may like open up more information about the uh, download tab or the downloads, um, and then you could have your version control information here and, and stuff around developers. Uh, so, so we're sort of starting to move this way where everything could be on one page. So you could take those three pages and put it into one. Um, any questions or feedback about that? Yeah, go for it. I'm just wondering if you were planning to have it that a user would be able to set what the default one they land on is. Oh, the default tab. Yeah. Um, probably not at the moment. Um, I'm just trying to think of like how we do that. Uh, it hasn't been really discussed, um, but most likely we'll keep the same uh, interface for all the project pages, and maybe Neil has a uh, User for. as in uh, you want to use some modules, or user as in you want to maintain some modules? That's a good point, actually, because uh, Emily's shaking her head. As we were arguing about how, like, like, I'm like, I really want these download things here, but I don't really care about the metadata, right? And and so is that sort of what you're getting at? It's, it's not so much don't care about it. It's just like it's not the stuff I care about every time I go to the page. Right. So right. you probably look at it once, but then you want to be able to. Interesting. Yeah. That That's. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, you'll need a whole design process. If, if we do something like that, it'd probably be more like the. Uh, the, if you double click the, if you have a mouse and you know to double click the date on issue yeah. comments, it'll toggle and remember where it toggled, or the field sets will, uh, right. on issues will remember where they are. So, yeah, uh, so. that's good feedback though, because uh, that might, I like the idea mainly from uh, a standpoint we might be able to make the front page actually more contextual for people who have actually never visited there, so we can hide a bunch of the crap that, you know, uh, people might not want, but. Um, yeah, it's so crap. it's not crap. I know it's not crap. It's it's all useful. It depends on who you are, right? So um, yeah, so context switching would be interesting. Thank you for that. Uh, so yeah, uh, any other questions about uh, projects as groups, comments? Cool. All right. So next, so we're looking at doing moving projects over and initiatives and, and those other things. But what about our local user groups and our interest groups? Um, and and so the future, does these groups stay on groups.drupal.org? Um, and <coughs> our, our right now reigning idea is no. Uh, so we're looking at migrating local and interest groups also into drupal.org, which would basically be the rest of groups.drupal.org. Um, the first and big thing is, is actually integrating user profiles better um, so you have a unified um, area for your profile instead of two profiles. Um, everything gets indexed into solar, so there are ways we could make groups work into solar, but it, it's a little more work and it, it doesn't really make sense to, to have two sites for that. Um, just talk about user profiles. Um, you could have an activity stream possibly on your user profile. Um, your credits as you're talking and things, doing documentation um, can all be put into the existing systems we have on Drupal.org. And then as we're deploying features, a lot of the features that individual groups need are things that our editors need for marketing or projects need. It can be all deployed once instead of multiple times. And lastly, and I think the biggest thing we've seen with the Drupal 6 to Drupal 7 upgrade, which hasn't been happening, is that it's been really hard to find um, good, consistent contribution to groups. So um, it will lower our maintenance costs as we just have one site to maintain it. 
And just for some data, I think we have something like um, it's like five percent of the content on, like, in the whole Drupal.org ecosystem, is on groups. It's a very small percentage. So, um, when we looked at uh, seeing what content, you know, how big of an impact this would have, um, it really didn't look like it it would have that much. So, um, and yeah. So, yes, questions, comments. Um, so, I'm the community lead in Melbourne in Australia, and so we use groups, but. Uh, we started using Meetup because someone created a Meetup group, and I was wondering. We, uh, one of my colleagues actually created a module to integrate with the Meetup API so that it could post events on GDO potentially. Mm -hmm. well, it was for GDO then, but uh, it would be really great to have some integration like that so that you don't have to post it to multiple places. Right. Um, um, yeah. So we'll talk about events here in a moment, um, but the idea is. We're still trying to parse out. Well, we'll talk about events in a moment, but yeah. Um, so let's talk first about <coughs> local user groups. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe the recording will show this better. I'm not hopeful. <laughs> it's okay. It shows the gist. So uh, as you see here, here's like three different types of local user groups. We have Pittsburgh that has one little layout design thing. We have, um, I believe that's Japan... China, sorry, China, um, and then here's like Seattle. So we have like all these different types of, of interfaces for their groups. Sort of reminds me of this, you know, it's like the MySpace. You can do whatever you want, good or bad, mostly bad. Um, so what we end up having here, um, we want to try to like get this together into a good layout system. Um, and let's see. One way of doing that is basically taking, um, putting together communities that have um, a centralized presence on Drupal.org and get their functionality, but not, not the, not the MySpace-ish part. Here's an example from Mozilla.org. Basically, you can click around to each country, and it'll show all the listings of user groups, and those user groups will have a, a similar layout. Um, another way to look at it is sort of like Facebook pages. Um, people have a lot of um, customizability that they can do on their pages, uh, but they all have a similar layout. So when you visit their pages, you're not inundated with um, you know, various layouts that, that make it hard to find things. Um, that, that's the big thing we're going for there. So speaking about events, uh, so here's the Drupal.org slash events, which I believe is mainly, uh, I think that's actually either text-based. I think it's actually be manually copied in. Yeah, that's historical. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's, that's going to go away. And then we have a GDO events page, which is a listing of events per, per group. Um, and those will all be migrated into this new events system. Uh, we have events.drupal.org, which is for the Drupal comms, um, but we're looking at something similar to uh, Drupalical, um, but putting more of our Drupal.org features into it. So looking at integrating what Drupalical has, and you can see, again, the map with the user groups will be basically trying to do something similar to that. So you can see what user groups are happening, what events are happening, and um, good suggestion about Meetup because even, even if we give all the event um, functionality, I know that there's a lot of um, culture or business rules that sort of dictate the need for Meetup, like um, people on meetup.com um, searching for other Meetups in their local area, and I, I can understand that even... Yeah. I think the way we've done it was that you create the post on GDO and then it would push it to Meetup. I'm fine with it. The main thing is that cool. you guys don't get statistics if we only post it on Meetup. Right. Right. So, so yeah. So the statistics. Uh, it'd be great to have statistics. Um, it'd be great to have registration data on that. Um, it'd be great to alleviate different camps. And I don't think Meetup's going away just because it it does what it does and. And like the GitHub conversations, I think integration is probably better than, than nothing. But again, all really preliminary. So I would say, you know, so I like the idea, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Make an issue. <laughs> um, so how are we actually going to do this? So um, basically uh, projects, we're going to have to do a manual audit for them, uh, go through each project and figure out who, uh, what projects have a, a mapping on uh, GDO, and then take those projects and 
provide, basically give them a migration path so we can get them onto to Drupal.org. I don't think there's actually that many projects, so that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, the second part is that the local and interest groups, since they don't exist on Drupal.org, we are not going to do an automatic migration. So what's going to happen is there's a little migrate button that we are going to uh, post, probably. This is, a again, draft mock-up. But the idea is we will uh, add a migrate button, and then um, we will have a window of probably a few months that uh, we, we won't uh, create new groups on Drupal.org. It will be sort of a beta period to try this out, and it will give a chance for all the existing GDO groups to migrate themselves over and have that namespace. Um, and then once that's done, um, yeah, so, so yeah. So the next part is we won't be doing OG panels. Um, we are looking for specific group pages. There may be um, various layouts we need to adapt um, that may make sense for them, um, but we're not, we'll, we'll do that on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, I'm curious about feedback here. Polls, how, polls, are they useful in groups? Just raise of hands, I guess. Perfect. All right. So that's about as good as yeah. So so poll migration is unlikely. Um, yeah, as yeah. Um, discussions are now posts on Drupal.org. So um, they will will migrate will migrate all of the discussions into posts and uh, notifications. We are improving notifications in general on Drupal.org, and so what you expect out of GDO should be um, over on Drupal.org as well. Any questions about migration? Comments, things I'm missing. Yeah, have an idea of how long a period people will have to migrate would be. I think so. The period of migration. For manual migration. Yeah, I, yeah. Go, Tim. Uh, for manual migration, there's actually going to be a decent chance that the period to do that will map closely to the long-term support window for Drupal 6, because we will be migrating from a Drupal 6 site that we won't be upgrading. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Well, it'll probably be pretty close to whatever that winds up being, right? Yep. I think that's probably about right. And then when that manual migration of pro my hope is that while that, if we can put together the frameworks properly, um, we can start the migration of local user groups a, r a little bit after we start doing the migration of projects. And so m manual migration of projects are going to take a while. And so like three or whatever months, um, and then give them that window, and then once that migration's done, and Drupal 6 is like, then um, then we'll cut that off, which leads us into the next part. <laughs> the GDO sunset, the beautiful sunset. Uh, so yes, um, so once you have a migrated group, we the hope is that all <laughs> of your nodes there will redirect to something on Drupal.org. Um, hopefully. Um, once you hit the migrate, your group will be turned read-only, so nothing else can be posted there, but it will, um, it, so, so it'll still be there, but you won't be able to access it. Um, the user authentication will eventually be turned off on GDO altogether, um, and so the, the sites that did not migrate and things that are just left there, they just will be left there. Um, and then eventually we'll go to HTML archival, um, where um, we'll add all the URL redirects we did in Drupal. We'll probably just paste it into an HD access or I, I don't know exactly what we're going to do there, but something like that where it'll just do its thing. Um, yeah. So questions about Sunset? Go for it. Just like will you turn it off completely at some stage? Or you a static site. Yeah, it'll just be a static site at some page. So... Yep. So content that can be migrated will get a chance to um, content that can, will be migrated will uh, redirect, and content that doesn't migrate will just stay there. So yeah. Um, so yeah. And then timeline. So right now, documentation and projects have higher priority. Um, Q4 is sort of the the timeline we're working. Documentation like. Next week, I believe. I mean, we've already started working on documentation. Yeah, it's it, it's a long process. So, yeah. So, so documentation is starting. Projects have started. Um, event listing and local user groups will happen after that. So, expect something um, near Q1. Um, yeah, Q1, Q2, and then we're hoping. Hmm. 
Well, yeah. So the hopeful eventual sunset will be mid-2016, um, and then all of this is subject to change depending on how long the documentation migration goes, um, how hard it is to get projects over, et cetera. Um, I can't say that we've done uh, – why? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't say we've done um, – we already have OG on Drupal.org, so um, so that part's been done. We're, we're working on migrating um, either Panelizer or Page Manager to sort of manage that part. Um, we are working on the content types. Um, so so there has been some work already done to, to lay the framework out, and so, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully that will do. Yeah. I assume with migration you'd be doing content types that are fairly easy to map, but I know with at least our group we've got custom content panes on the front page and stuff like that. Yep. Is that we'll just have to recreate them or? Those are going away. So Yeah, it's yeah. the only way you could really do it. Yep, so, <laughs> so the MySpace-ish, yeah, the MySpace pages are going away. Um, uh, so basically, actually all the custom pages are going away. So a lot of places have said, you know, either custom events pages or custom random pages of whatever. Um, and I don't foresee those going into um, the new system. Those aren't going to be migrated. Um, we will have the ability to create um, pages that will have panelizer on it. So you could, you know, add those as, as items later. But... Um, Right now, I think we're, we're trying to streamline down basically everyone to a, a consistent UI. Um, yeah. yeah. The design process. Yeah. Figure yeah. out what people will use. Right. And make it for them. Yeah. Yep. So, so yeah, we're, we're right now working on the design for all those pages, and that'll, that'll sort of dictate it. But I'm pretty sure that regardless of the design, we won't be migrating any of that, that previous stuff. So, hmm? It would be really, really hard. And from six to seven, I don't even know if there's a really good migration path. There is an OG panel, so I see Emily's. Right. Yeah, and it's not a good idea. Yeah, we want actual designs, not random stuff. Yeah, and I think that's part of why we want to migrate uh, on the group owner's schedule uh, with the button. Yep. So. All, all of the custom stuff won't be it won't be pulled out from under you uh, until you do it yourself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll have to like a migration button say, "Here, warning: you're going to have these things go away." And and if you really liked polls, well, I'm sorry, um, you know. And uh, yeah, so that's probably how we'll. Will we'll there start. be any? Sorry, I'm not going to yeah. Will there be any way to like click see what a panel looks like? Okay. Will there be any way? Will there be any way to see what it looks like? like the first. Right. Yeah, we'll we'll test it in staging and maybe even have a staging mode for for the migrate button. We'll, we'll have to figure it out. Yeah. So, so this I, is why the timelines are subject to change. <laughs> uh, because it's a software project. Yeah. I yeah. I imagine um, since the layouts will become similar, um, You'll get a chance to see, like, we'll, we'll be migrating projects, for instance, to new pages. Migrating content time. Yes. Right. Yeah. There won't be a whole lot. Um, famous last words, though. True. Yeah. Famous in last theory. words. <laughs> yeah. In theory. But, yeah. We, we have Jira we use internally on, on top of the Drupal.org as UQ. So we'll do it when Jira tells us to do it. <laughs> uh, and Tim's our project manager. He sometimes tells us what to do. Yeah. So yeah, um, cool. Well, thanks. That 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 basically um, those are the slides. So um, yeah, let me. I love to have other uh, questions, comments. Feel free to go up if there are any. All right. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Oh yeah, evaluate this session. <laughs> <laughs>